I'm doing it. I'm running away from home. Hey there, I'm Diane, an aging empty nester who wants to see the beauty in this world before it's too late. So I'm gonna live in my car this summer exploring the US Northwest, but first I've gotta get the old SUV ready to live in by the end of the week for its inaugural run. So here's what we have to work with, a very old Acura RDX. All right, here's what we've got going on. A back seat that folds down, but not all the way flat. Goes through to the trunk, which is great. Got my jackery. So I have to turn this car into a camping habitat. Like in just a few days and with no build. Trunk space. I've got this cool organizer, which I have to reorganize. And the bed will be on this side. And I've just got to set it all up. Step one was to make some kind of bed platform for sleeping. So I ordered this adjustable shoe rack from Amazon with the idea of supporting a piece of plywood cut to size that could easily be removed as I didn't want to make any permanent modifications to the car because I plan to sell it in a few months. This rack is great because you can adjust the width and height for just the right size. So I'll link it below. Okay, I am on my way to my friend Garrison's house because Garrison is a woodworking artist and he's got tons of good wood laying around and so I thought okay maybe he's got a piece of wood that I can put in the back there to make the bed platform more levelish. It won't ever be perfectly level because then it'd be too high and it'd be weird but uh, anyway hopefully he can help me figure something out. So that's Gidget and this is Garrison. Car life, a lifesaver, woodworker, Sign artist, yes. overall amazing guy. So we're not too worried about the cosmetics of the wood, right? Don't care. So Garrison quickly found a piece of scrap wood, measured it, and started cutting. Meanwhile, Gidget and I hung around checking out the artwork and making trouble. That was actually Gidget making trouble, not me. I'm a good girl. Pretty soon we were outside testing the cut to see if it was gonna fit. That looks good. I mean, that's a lot better than it was. It feels very sturdy. Oh yeah, it's got a little sawdust on it. This this trip is not gonna be the cleanest uh, <laughs> excursion you've made. Okay, so I gotta solve it's, the back it problem. It looks a little awkward around your neck. <laughs> If you curl up. Yeah, I wonder if a piece of wood up here would be, there'd be no easy way to put one though. It's only for a month. Actually, it's not even that, it's like 21 days. That's yeah, quite a while. Yeah, that does look a little, <laughs> this is awkward. kind of work in the neck thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stretch my neck, it's great. It wasn't a perfect solution, but with the thickness of the mattress, I thought I could make it work. So he finished sanding and varnished it, and we were good to go. So you have to be careful about the spacing of all of this. Yeah, you can't go too deep. So yeah. if you design it, you can check the depth with the software will tell you how deep it is. Garrison has a unique style of artwork where he makes designs on the computer and he has this big machine that basically laser cuts them into existence and then he finishes off with the painting. The cool thing is he can design the artwork up front and he can resize it any way he wants and he can essentially print it into wood. So if you need a specific size or you need specific colors or you need a really custom piece that you want to help design, Garrison is your guy and I will put a link down below to his website. Yeah, that's great. I went over to their house in this case. Yeah. And we measured the spot where it was going to go and talked about how big it should be and agreed on the size. And I just scaled it to fit. What do you got there, puppy? That's actually a useful item. A useful item? item. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. I can't believe he did all that sanding and he even varnished it and signed it. This is fantastic. So uh, now we're going to take it back home and see how it works with the mattress. I'm not 
not sure what to do about all that extra mattress. So I moved on to creating privacy shades for all the windows. Okay, so I have a roll of Reflectix and I have some old wrapping paper and I'm gonna put this on the window to make a pattern so that I can cut out some Reflectix to have some privacy in the car. Yeah, this kind of turned into the project from hell and believe me, if I could have bought these for my car, it would have been so worth the money. Okay, this may be a really stupid plan, but we have a rough idea of the size to cut, so we'll try this out on a piece of Reflectix. Let's trim just a little bit. So, pretty much trial error, trial error, trial error, rinse and repeat, ad nauseum, all afternoon. Oh, of course, I cut it too much. I cracked there. So this is kind of a fail. In hindsight, this would have been far easier to do with some scrap fabric, like some muslin or something, but I don't have any of that. See that? A crack. See that? A crack. Dang it. But we do have beginnings of a private back seat area anyway. Then came the challenge of the back window. Okay, so for the back window, what I did was I measured kind of the area of the window roughly, and so I'm gonna cut it a little bit bigger. I'll start with a um, big square, and then we'll just go and fit it and trim it and do it that way. The back window was so difficult. The wrapping paper wasn't working for making a pattern because it kept ripping. So it was this constant stream of trial and error, mostly error. Okay, back window is kind of a fail. Crack there, folded out part here, cracks there. You need a pattern for this. Okay, so I brushed my hair, finally, and we are going to get fabrics. So why did I spend so much time on this project? Well, as a single solo female traveler, I just wanted the ability to stealth camp, to be in the car and not look like there's anyone in the car. Okay, so we're at it again, trying to make this whole Reflectix thing for the back window. And this time I'm going to make a pattern out of this sort of crunchy, uh, I think it's called interfacing. It's used to stiffen up collars and stuff in sewing. And I thought it would be a good way to make a pattern pretty easily. Hopefully this will work. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's done. I didn't bother doing a shade for the windshield because I was pretty sure I could buy something and by this time I was so over this project which had already sucked up two very long afternoons. With privacy mostly settled, it was time to finish setting up the bed. You know, this mattress is actually pretty comfy. I mean, it makes a nice little loungy place. And if I scooch down, I can stretch my feet out this way and touch the back of the car. I can scooch down a little more. This is actually not bad. So, I don't know. This whole thing might just work out great. And I'm debating whether or not to keep this shelf here that the camera's on. It's great because it provides like a tailgate cooking area, but it also makes it harder to access what's in the basket underneath this seat here. So, I don't know. We gotta put on the sheets. Oh, so in there. Looks great. I guess I better get used to this. Crawling around in a car. <gasps> Hello again. It's so flipping cold out here. This sheet is a jersey knit. It's like sleeping on a t-shirt. Okay. This way sheet coming together. I think I'm going to leave this. I think this would be a good surface. This foam mattress is super comfy. I think it's four inches memory foam. 
And now the big fuzzy comforter. I think it looks cozy. What do you think? Okay. So, oh my gosh. I can barely sit up. Okay. You know, I can stretch my toes a little and touch the end of the car. I like this shelf because it helps me hide the fact that I'm sleeping in my car. More stuff to load in. Next time, I'll be taking my car life setup out for a test weekend, driveway surfing at my cousin's one night, and sleeping at an actual truck stop the next. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see how this crazy test trip goes. Ooh, this reflectix gets the bags off my eyes.